plane, not sitting next to each other. They were speaking Arabic. There were some concerned people on the flight, and the plane was brought back to the gate. Both men were escorted off the plane. A bit of a scare at a northeast airport this morning. New York's LaGuardia Airport fully open again, though, after part of it was evacuated following a report of a suspicious wiring. Now, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, which runs that airport, says wires protruding from a fluorescent light fixture led someone to call authorities this morning and actually prompted an evacuation of the upper level of the airport's central terminal building. Hey, folks. On your oath here. I'm stopping by Jacksonville on the way home. Stopping downtown. I'm going to ride around on the uh, Skyway, take some pictures of some buildings, and... Uh, it's about two days after what happened in Boston. I'm going to see if there's any hysteria downtown. See if they're going to try and stop people from engaging in their constitutional rights. So I know when uh, they've, they've turned an airplane around because there was somebody speaking Arabic. Uh, they're looking for two Arabic men with cameras or something like that. So we're going to head downtown, get on the Skyway, ride around, take some pictures, see what happens. This is uh, Central Station, pretty busy station. This is where uh, the trains meet up. Sorry? This is a public place though, right? Is it a public space? I've already checked with JTA, they say it's fine. It's a public space. I mean, I don't need to check with them. It's a public space. It's my first uh, question. The question is, did you check with them or not? Hold on, let me call you that uh, It's a public space if you don't need to check with them. But they don't want Listen, we, do we, got, we, got, we got strict orders. We work for JTA. They tell us don't let people take pictures of right, them. Right, right. Now, you show me some, now you're going to have to show me some documentation where they say you can take it. If not, you're going to put the thing up and, or you're going to leave. No, no other questions. That's the Okay, what, what would happen if I didn't? I'm, I'm just asking. Then I'm, then I'm a trespass. Okay, I'm leaving then. But uh, can I get your name and badge number? Right here, my name right on my right on my arm badge, right okay. here. I'm gonna get it. I'm, don't don't be alone. No, don't don't film me, man. Don't, no. don't, don't, don't turn the camera off. Turn the camera okay, off. Okay, G Alouche and this other I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. But there's trespass after warning. You've been I'm leaving. I'm leaving. leaving. No you guys are violating the First Amendment. I hope you know that. Yes, sir, you are. Go ahead. This is a public space. You guys are violating the First Amendment. Right. I'm gonna file a complaint against you. Are you you refuse to give your name and badge number? He refused to give his name and badge number. It's a public space. You said my name. You know what my name is. <laughs> oh, you're supposed to tell me what your name is. Yes, sir, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, sir, you are. No, I'm not. I'm on a public sidewalk. I'm not in the JTA station. You guys violated, you guys violated the First Amendment, and I'm going to report you for it. You're going to be on YouTube. You're, you're a disgrace to the Constitution. You're violating your oath to the Constitution. That's you are violating your oath to defend the Constitution to the United States of America. You're a disgrace. You are a disgrace. Breaking news from downtown Jacksonville. Uh, my First Amendment rights have just been violated by a couple of two more boneheaded thug cops that don't know the law, don't know people's rights, and uh, they just trespassed me off of the JTA Skyway, even though all I was doing was participating in my constitutionally protected rights. Now I'm down here, and I can't get a ride back to my car because these two idiots up here just trespassed me. As near as I can come. Okay. There's no reason you can't videotape there. Understood. Okay. The officers are under the impression that this is a private with public access facility. Okay. It's owned by the government. State. 
It's the state. It's owned by several things, several entities. Right. I think uh, Jacksonville the state and somebody else. But anyway, as far as I can determine, there's no reason why you shouldn't be videotaping there at this time. We'll get a second opinion from um, the city attorneys and things like that later uh -huh. on. But for right now, I can make no deterrent. There's nothing that I know of that keeps you from videotaping that. Secondly, Understood. the officers are supposed to give you their name and ID number if you ask for it. Okay. It's just that simple. No ifs, ands, and buts about that. Don't care. They're supposed to give you that. Uh, is that is that actually? I've always been kind of. There's I knew, no state law that says they have to. Policy, it's just city policy. Policy. I mean, okay. it's a sheriff's office policy sheriff's that office they policy. have to give you their name and badge number if asked for. Right. If they're not arresting me or something like that, you know, it's just if it I'm just. Matter if they're arresting you or not, they still have to give it to you <laughs> okay. whether you're arrested, not arrested. If you're uh, just walking down the street, officer, I want your name and ID number, please. They're supposed to give you their name and ID number. Right. They're just that's our business card or something like that. Okay. If they give you a business card, that's the same thing, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, his name tag does not have his badge number on it, so he did not comply with that part of, according to your video. Understood. And I'd have to see it where I can really see it, you know, and hear it a little better. Okay. I, can hear, I can hear it half of it, but it does seem like that they refuse to do that, and, and that would be a violation of our sheriff's office policy, and they Understood. shouldn't have done that. Okay. Um, I've contacted the uh, supervisor that schedules that. They are off-duty officers. Okay. Uh, I've contacted the supervisor to schedule it, let him know what was going on. He's going to correct it on their end okay. as far as the videotaping part goes. Uh, and you know how to fill out an employee complaint form, correct? I uh, haven't done it before, okay, but... it's real simple. Okay. Just fill in the blocks. An employee's name, the best that you know it. Uh, you, everything you told me, the best that you know. If you can get the, the other guy's name off your camera, you can put it in here, too. Understood. Uh, if you don't know it, just leave it blank. Over here is your information, okay? Okay. Go straight down. You can write a narrative here. All right. You can make copies of this. You can, uh, so if you mess the first one up, you write a second one. We right. don't care. Public record. Here's a, uh, here's a narrative continuation page. So if you can't get it all in that little block, you can get it on here. Understood. Uh, and then you mail it in to the sheriff's office and just put attention internal uh, on your outside of the envelope. And it'll go to internal affairs. Okay. Internal will then read it and determine who is going to investigate it. It is normally sent down the chain of command to that officer's commanding officer. Okay. Okay. That commanding officer, he's an off-duty, so he could be anywhere in the city. I, I pulled him up and it said he works one of our specialized units like the OSS or something like that, gotcha. which is normally based out of Zone 5, but I can't guarantee that that's exactly where he works at, but that's okay. just the latest that I've got on him. Okay. Gotcha. Well, you send it here, they'll send it where it needs to go, and then that commanding officer will look over the information and he should be in contact with you. Okay. Uh, to discuss it uh, in person as well. Okay, okay? so, okay. All right. All right. Are you got any questions so far? Nope. No, uh, okay. do, should I get your email to send it to you, or should I? No, sir, it goes to internal. Internal, gotcha. See, okay. I'm not, the only reason I'm here is because you're in my zone, and okay. you made a complaint on officers working in my zone. And they're off duty. And they're off duty. Understood. Okay. Right. Now, uh, if they work for me, when you fill that form out, you can give it right back to me. Because that's what all they're going to, all internal is going to do is route it to his commanding officer. Okay. They're, they're the people that will route it to the right place after they see what the scope of the complaint is. Minor complaints are investigated by the commanding officer mm -hmm. of the uh, of the officer himself. Okay. Okay. So I will not investigate another commanding officer's officer. I do the preliminary work to see what it is, see how serious it is, see what we need to do if there's an immediate problem or something like that. Okay. And, and since there's no real danger of a, um, you know, anybody getting hurt or, right. you know, anything yeah, like I got, that. I left. Uh, this thing could have got a lot worse, I'm sure. <laughs> right. Uh, but if, I, it if I didn't leave, you know. It I'd, didn't, and I'm glad that it didn't. Uh, but we're going to get this straightened out and okay. make sure that we're comply with everything we're supposed to be complying with. Okay. okay? Oath violator, Jacksonville Sheriff's Officer, G.E. Alouche. Badge number 62806, Zone 2, Commanding Officer, Sergeant A.B. Carnes, Badge number 6893. Oath Violator, Jacksonville Sheriff's Officer, Gooch, Zone 5, 